The warm weather is also luring migrating birds back north earlier than expected. Those birds will sing to find a mate. But it turns out the language of love is not universal. Here's Bill Plant. Think of this as March Madness, just a different kind. Hey, they're kind of cute. It's the March migration of birds, starting their seasonal journey looking for a mate. But for a bird singing out to find a partner in the noisy urban jungle, it's tough. Even the echoes among tall buildings can confuse the bird's hearing. Conservation scientist Peter Mara has discovered that urban surroundings actually change how birds call out. Just like you when you're in a bar or if you're out in the street and there's a siren that goes by, you've got to shout or you've got to change your own voice so someone else can hear you. Working with researchers at the Smithsonian, Mara found that increased noise alters the pitch of an urban bird compared to that of its country cousin. From his office at Washington's National Zoo, he demonstrates with the Carolina Wren. So let's listen to the rural song right now. Now let's listen to the Carolina Wren in an urban environment. The range of the urban bird is more narrow, and the pitch of its song has gone up. Here is the Carolina chickadee. And here's a chickadee in a rural environment. Now let's listen to that poor little chickadee in urban environments. That heightened pitch has scientists wondering, will city birds be able to find love? if their country cousins refuse to mate because they don't recognize calls from the urban hood. We're like, <gasps> For noted birder Harrison Glasgow, it comes down to the adaptability of nature. Nature simply wants a balance, and the birds that live in the city have to achieve that balance. Mara says more research is in the works to determine whether urban birds have simply adapted to the stress of city living and what happens when Mother Nature passes down a different tune to future generations. Bill Plant, CBS News, Washington.